Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn what is a local player and how to retrieve the local player from your game. So basically the local player is just the current player who is playing the game and to retrieve the local player you, you gotta click uh, let's now click on our player service and if you go to the properties window you're gonna see a property called local player and that's how you retrieve the local player of the game the current player who is currently playing the game now there are two catches when using this property number one this property is a read only property so if you try to write or update or change this property you're gonna get an error number two you can only access this property through a local script or a module script that is required by the local script. So if you try and access it through a regular script, it's going to return a nil value. Let's now take a look at an example of a script using the local player. So let's go to our starter player service. We're going to expand that and we're going to go to starter player scripts. We're going to add a local script. Remember, it needs to be a local script. You cannot use this inside a regular script. To get the current player that is playing the game, let's declare a variable, local. And let's call the player, player. And we're going to set that player equals to game dot players dot local player. This is going to give us the player that is currently playing this game. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put in if statement, if player. So I'm going to check the player's display name, dot display name. If, if the display name is equal to, and I'm going to just check for my name, price CP. I hope I spell it correctly. Then. I'm going to make myself a VIP. So I'm going to say player set attribute. The attribute name is called VIP and I'll set it to true. And let's play and take a look. Here I am inside the game. And now if I go to the player service, look for my player and go to the properties window, go to the bottom. I have a VIP attribute. Now this script doesn't necessarily be in the starter player scripts. As long as you are using a local script to access the local player it should work. So let's demonstrate this by moving it to the starter GUI. In, instead of the starter player scripts, we're going to move this same script into the starter GUI. Let's play again, take a look. I'm going to open up my player, click on my player, and go to the bottom, and there it is, VIP. All right, everyone, that's how you get the current player who is currently playing the game in Roblox.